Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Purchase is one among the important things as part of a business. Okay, so if you're a business person, purchase is very important for you and analyzing each and everything which is happening inside the purchase is also important to keep the tracking and all. So, we have uh, the reporting section inside the purchase module. So, before we had, that is in the Odo 15 version, we had this dashboard and also we had the purchase analysis but when it came to Odo 60, the dashboard has gone and only the purchase analysis exists. Here in 17 also we have the purchase analysis where you have the purchase analysis in two different views which is the graphical view as well as the pivot view. Here you have a lot of measures which helps you to analyze your purchase details. So I'm not wasting your time, let's move on to the video and see what purchase analysis has provided for you. So now let's move on to the purchase module and see what the reporting section of purchase has kept for us. So let's open the purchase module. Here you have purchase. I'm opening it. Once you open it, uh, you'll get such a view, but no need to look at this view right now. We have the menus over here. So we have a menu called reporting. Click on the reporting menu and there you have a sub menu called purchase. So click on the purchase. And the only thing which we have inside the reporting of purchase is the purchase analysis. So you get the complete details of the purchases which have been done till date. Okay. And Odo provides two different views for this purchase analysis which is the graphical view as well as the pivot view okay so just going to the graph view as you all know we have three kinds of graphs inside Odoo which is the bar chart line chart and pie chart okay so first let's go through the bar chart this is the bar chart okay so you have the confirmation date and if you just take a look at the measure you can see this is the untaxed total so if you want to change, okay, you want, you know, you want the view or a bar chart of the quantity which is billed. So choose that and it shows the quantity billed for this particular date. And if you want to change it to quantity order, you have that was that one as well. And if you want to see the average cost, that is also possible inside the graphical view of the purchase analysis. So that's the reason why I told you that this purchase analysis actually gives you a complete idea of all things which is happening inside the purchase module. So that's the purchase analysis, okay? I mean, the bar chart of the purchase analysis. So here you can see what it shows right now. So right now it's showing the average cost. If I'm changing it back to untaxed total, it will show the untaxed total over here. So bar chart has an option called the stacked. So you have the stacked view over here. And also you can show the descending as well as the ascending order of the purchase analysis. Similarly, you have the line chart. So this is the line chart of the same. So this is the Untaxed total, I'm removing the ascending order. For line chart also, you have the stacked view, the uh, descending order as well as the ascending order. But one thing you have extra in the line chart is the cumulative view. Okay. So if you want to change the measure from here, I'll change the measure. Here you have the gross wheat. I'm changing it to quantity ordered. So this will be the quantity ordered. And you have different dates over here. So this measures are showing corresponding to the dates over here. That is the confirmation date. And we have the pie chart. So this is the pie chart. Here also you have different dates in different colors. Okay. And if you want to, you know, set the measure I'm putting to untaxed total. So here comes the untaxed total for different dates. Okay. So that's the, um, sorry, let's go back. Yeah. So that's the um, graphical view, which is the pie chart. Now, if you have, uh, I mean, if you just take a look at the different section if you just click on a particular date I'll make it clear so here we have the pie chart you can see different dates and different colors so I'm just clicking on the untaxed total of 12th December just clicking on that and you will get the details of all the purchases which was done on that particular date okay you will see the status the total and all so these will be the untaxed total of that particular day okay so here you have the total Similarly, you can, you know, choose individually of each date. That's the untaxed total individually can be seen simply by selecting them. Okay, you have it right here. So this is the ones which has taken place on the other day. Okay, so similarly, you have all these things over here in the pie chart. And as I said before, you have the option to, you know, change the measure. And then you have this insert in spreadsheet. Okay, you will find this for the pivot view as well so if you just that is if you're desiring if you want to put this view inside a spreadsheet what do you have to do 
simply click on insert in spreadsheet so i'm going to put this particular pie chart into a spreadsheet you have two option either you can put it in a blank spreadsheet or even you can add it to an existing spreadsheet so i'll show you adding it to a blank spreadsheet whatever it is choose from here and then confirm it so once you're done you will see such a message called new spreadsheet created and here comes the graph so you can drag and move it and also change the position from here so yeah this is how you change the positions okay similarly you can add other charts as well like the line chart and bar chart also so that's how you insert a particular view into the spreadsheet so that's the graphical view next we have the pivot view so inside the pivot view, you'll get the same thing which is in a tabular form okay you have the total the count the order the untaxed total and the grand total you know so you have the option to flip the axis and also if it's not expanded means you can expand all together and also you have the option to download the xlsx file okay and here also you can add measure so i'm adding quantity order so in case of this graph and all you at a time you could add only one measure but in case of this pivot table you can add multiple measures or if you want to add all measures at a time that can also be added so here you can see quantity build is added so i'm adding one more which is quantity received see quantity received has been added so similarly how many measures you want you can choose everything in the pivot view okay so that was the purchase analysis i hope it's clear for you all guys thank you so much for watching see you in the next video